An undesirably dangerous foreign national has been taken off the scene in streets of a top financial district in the megacity over the possession of high-powered firearms, munitions, and military battle gear. The Chinese alien has alleged links to the Philippine offshore gaming operations. Our Patrick Nesus fills us in with more. Through a search warrant, operatives of the NCRPO conducted an operation in a house inside an exclusive subdivision in Taguig City. They discovered and seized high-powered firearms, ammunition, grenade, airsoft pistols, and tactical vests. A Chinese national who was the subject of the search warrant was arrested. The NCRPO said they received a tip from an informant regarding the suspect who is allegedly involved in Philippine offshore gaming operations or POGO. We have uh, uh, some informations and reasons to believe that uh, they are involved in uh, IGR, internet gaming uh, uh, operation, and yung mga POGO operation as uh, mga admin support. The police also seized a tactical helmet with China written on it as well as a Chinese flag. The NCRPO is now investigating the motive behind the keeping of the suspect of the high-powered firearms. Eh, saan mo gagamitin yun? Kami nga, hindi nga kami ang PNP or law, enforcing, law enforcement agencies. Um, uh, we don't usually use high-powered firearms. Gagamitin lang namin yan pagka nga uh, i or uh, we're uh, engaging is um, ma matataas na kalibre or mga uh, uh, terror group. Tignan natin if uh, uh, ano ang ano, what is the motive in uh, in uh, possessing this firearm. Uh, is it to protect their uh, interest of uh, for their business here in the Philippines or uh, kung ano yung ginagawa nila or um, for purposes of picture taking and what is the source, where is the source, who is the source of this firearm, uh, lalabas din yan. The NCRPO is also coordinating with the Bureau of Customs and LTO after confiscating a McLaren sports car with improvised plates amounting to approximately 30 million pesos as well as electric SUV sports bike and electric bike with no corresponding documents. Another Chinese national was also arrested after trying to bribe police officers amounting to 3 million pesos. The arrested suspects are now under police custody and stand to face charges for violation of the Comprehensive Firearms and Ammunition Regulation Act and corruption of public officials. Patrick De Jesus from the National TV for a new and better Philippines.